Hey, welcome to Oita City. This is on the island of Kyushu. We're kind of a ways away from Tokyo and this is what the nightlife looks like. We have some taxis, there's an Oita taxi going by. This is the main entertainment area and you can tell by these illuminated lights to the left and right of it. Um, I, I, it's hard to see but they're actually like light blue and pink. <laughs> they're like, I guess it's to attract, attract more ladies here, I'm not sure. But it's a Monday night, it's a Monday night so I don't know if we're gonna get, you know, like that Friday night feeling but what we are gonna do is explore a historical alleyway, which is really cool. Um, hey, konbanwa, hey everybody, welcome. So this this area has not changed in 50 years. It was opened up in Showa 41, which is 1966. It's called Miyako Machi Yatai Te. This is, it's called Miyako Machi Yatai Te. This is, um, I'm just gonna I'm gonna walk through here so you can take a look at, at the left and right of it. They're just kind of like shacks, and I guess after after uh, World War II, the post-war, you have kind of places like this. There's wires coming out of the shack. You have these chochin, these lanterns lit up from uh, like a, a Keating, a beer brand here. Lots of mm, I don't know, dust. Just just a lot of memories that have been built up through the the wood. Let's see, I, what is this even made out of? It's made out of like, like um, sheet metal, and you can see, yeah, just <laughs> it's basically a trailer. And then you have, then you have the signs out here. Um, it's Monday, so not a lot of these places are open. I'm just gonna take you down the uh, Miyako Machi a little bit. Yeah, exactly. This is a Japanese old style Showa era. We're now in the um, Heisei era. This is Showa, which is the generation of my of my my parents and it just kind of exists and this is what makes traveling outside of Tokyo really cool we have something in Tokyo called Golden Guy which is kind of like that but it's just totally been I'll be honest it's kind of like a lot of tourists there now um, but here yeah you know what it's like no tourists and it is a Monday night so it's not as open but the two shops in the beginning in the uh, entrance are open this is Miyako Machi and we're gonna be going in to this one right here it's called Tachan. Tachan. And we're going to be meeting Shinoda san. Shinoda san is the president of a sake company. And that's going to be pretty cool to meet with him. And the owner's name is Takiguchi san. So we're going to meet with Takiguchi san. So, one more time, for those of us joining us, the history of this alley goes back to 1966, um, which is pretty old. These buildings have not changed since then, and I don't want them to. I hope it kind of keeps this feeling. Um, you can see over here, here comes the cops. There's the police here and then uh, <laughs> they're, they're coming, they're not coming after me. And then um, you have a, a Samporu, this is a pachinko, looks like a pachinko place up here and a 7-Eleven. So this is kind of the nightlife. It's a little bit intimidating. Hey, photo Luke Hawaii. John san have a snack on us. Thanks. We're going to sleep. Austin is sleeping. Have a fun night. Hey guys. Aloha. Um, let's go inside and check it out. Now, I think if you visit Japan and you don't know Japanese, it can be pretty intimidating to go in here. So maybe this experience can help you overcome that um, reluctance to explore a deeper area. They have these kind of yokochos or alleyways in, in Tokyo, but like if you come to Oita, I think it's a little bit different because they don't see a lot of Westerners. It makes it unique when you go in there. So I'm going to... Um, I'm gonna put the wide angle lens on the other side. All right. And you gotta just see, you gotta see how small this place is. All right, let's go into Tachan. Are you ready? Oh, konbanwa. <laughs> Tachigawa san and Shinoda san. Hi, Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. <laughs> um, yeah, in full disclosure, but I've actually already been in here um, kind of eating and, and drinking and taking in the, the night. But welcome. This is Tachan. Uh, Tachan's been w opened up um, about 10 years ago. And one of the reasons was that there were shops uh, on the other side of the town and they shut them down and they 
did, needed a place to move to and this was available and they kept it going and I, I, I'm kind of happy about that because it keeps the, the culture and the tradition going and that's something that I think we don't want to lose here in Japan. You can see a lot of food here. Wow. Wow. This is chicken from Oita, kind of a specialty. And actually, this is really good. It comes with a special ponzu. The ponzu is not here. Ah, kono ponzu. This is an Oita ponzu, and they don't use lemons, they use. Nandaro. Kabosu. Kabosu is a uh, Oita citrus fruit, and that's, that's what it looks like right there. Ah, so it's so delicious. It's so It's so Sour. Ah, so, eh, kore kani. These are little, little baby crabs. And then, rak, rak, kore da. Ah, myoga. Myoga. Kind of like, looks like ginger there. Very good. Ah, kai. Kind of a shellfish. Ah, kono mama de taberu? Ah, yaku. Ah! そっか。じゃあ、切るね。こうやる。あ。わお。わお。できた。素晴らしい。So <笑> you get it. You have to pull it out there. And we got a lot of food. え、もしね、外国人、もしね、外国人観光者ここに来たら注文にし仕方はどうしますか。How would a how would a non Japanese order food here is what I asked. Chimon chimon shikata wa? Kore. It's that easy. Just just point. <laughs> Are you listening? Point to what you want and go, ah, kore. It means this. Kore, this. Ah, uh, sumimasen. Kore. <laughs> it works. It works every time. And if, if you want to know the price, actually, the, um, here at Tachan, the price is listed up here. So you can see uh, like a, an Asahi um, Jockey beer is uh, 550 yen, which is like $5, a highball. So you have the drink menu up here and you can ask. Do you guys know how to say how much in Japanese? You can say, Ikura desu ka? But then you would have to understand what the response is. And that's hard. Or you can just write it down. But basically, it's not really expensive. Like, mina haitara. There's no like cover charge. Sometimes they'll have, um, when you go into Japanese restaurants, like a, a small charge for uh, like a, a, an hors d'oeuvre or a snack that you'll get. In here, you don't have anything like that. And you can ask in advance, but it's usually just a couple of dollars. And for the experience, I think it's kind of worth it anyways. But you, you, I don't know. It's like, I, I've never had any problems go, just going in and sitting down and ordering a beer. Um, and then Shinoda-san has all this sake. Shacho. <laughs> <laughs> He's the president of a Japanese sake company. So, the company is called Soko. Soko. And they've been making Japanese sake for 154 years. Fourth generation. Yon Yondaime. Yon Fourth generation sake brewer here in Oita um, City. And he has now a lineup of booze that we're going to try with some of the food here. Wow. So let's start here with the original. The This is the f the or or original. Original. This is the first one that they made. Um, this one's called Sara. And it's it's actually really really good. Um, so we're, we're gonna try this one out. It has a different flavor to it. Next, the company made this one. This one is called soju, and you can say it because of the English down there. Even the Japanese kanji is, is kind of hard to read in the gold, but uh, I, I I don't know what it actually says here. So this is the second one. We're gonna try it. This one is amai desho. This one is really sweet amakuchi. 
This one is called Joju. Yeah, and then there's other kinds of varieties. And it, 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 he's really innovated the sake because they, when, when he started, they only had one kind. They just had this. And now they have an entire lineup. And I think Japanese sake companies have to increasingly change up their menu in order to compete with the other brands. And Chacho has done that. So, <laughs> let's try some of this. So, I'm going to go to the next one. 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 Hey, where is everybody from? I know Luke and Cheryl just have gone to bed, but if you want to, you can write in where you're going. Oh! Kampai! Kampai! All of these, all of these um, sakes, they kind of go with the food. And I'm not really good, I'll be honest with you, with all, all um, honesty, I'm not good with pairing. That's my friend Jennifer's job, but Chacho here, uh, so unless I can can pair up some of the food, maybe with some of this, these drinks here. <sighs> Note: When you drink Japanese sake, don't drink it like like a wuss. You have to, like, nomu nomu toki ni otokonoko nashi ne. Don't drink sake like this. Uh, no, don't do it. I've gotten yelled at at bars from old timers because I'm not respecting the sake. I gotta respect the drink. So, let me take this off here. You have to respect the sake. Yeah. Man up. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Give a nice little, you know, approval at the end. Yeah, it's, it's ingrained in me from many nights eating out and drinking out. It's true. Wow. I'm bottling. Ah. He's making it, actually. And it's good to Wow. He makes all this by hand, he says, still. It, 30 years ago, he started um, making the sakes. He hand makes this. <laughs> I want to go to the brewery just to check it out. We would say like it's a sake brewery. Um, so weird, Rustin, I would have a problem seeing all that different foods and drinks. Yeah, you know, it, it can be a little intimidating, but I think um, if you just... I don't know, you can kind of guess what the ingredients are. If you don't know what's inside of it, um, I think it, that's when like something like a Google Translate would help a little bit, where you can translate pork or meat if you're vegetarian or um, ingredients that you might have an allergy to. But for the most part, Japanese don't. It doesn't get too far out of what typical everyday Japanese food is, especially here. A lot of it is eggs, tofu, chicken. Chicken is very good in Oita, by the way. Oita has amazing chicken. In fact, Kyushu does, but Oita has really good karage. And uh, maybe we'll... Yeah, karage! Yeah! <laughs> right there, we got some karage. And uh, wow, we got tamagoyaki. Just the chickens are good here. Basically, in Kyushu, people love chickens, so it makes it more delicious. Disho? So this guy. Ah, Torita. Alright, let's try one. Let's try one. Alright, Todi Ten. This is the Oita's Todi Ten. Boom! Eh, Kentucky Janayo. 
Miyadare ga Kentucky Fried This is not Kentucky Fried Chicken, everybody. This is Oita Fried Chicken. Uh, you can see here it has been breaded and deep fried. Not too much. Not too much. And it comes with a side of cabbage and dressing. Looks pretty good. And you know how I ordered this? Tori ten. Only in Oita. Only in Oita. This is Kihara san. Hello. Hello, how are you? Nani no deru no? Japanese sake. <laughs> eh, drunk? Yes. Oh no, he drunk! Just a, a little bit, a little bit. Chotto dake, chotto dake. Oishi yo. Oh, oishi, oishi. Eh, do, 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 <laughs> All right, the most delicious sake in Japan. Very good, very very good. Well done, sir. And he kept the sake over there. <laughs> yeah, just just keep the bottle right there. That's how we roll in Oita. All right, let's try this. This is Tori Ten. Tori Ten. Tori Ten. Um, and we're using this. Um, ponzu, which is really good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like here. All right. So this is a beautifully deep-fried piece of chicken. Wow. And then you take the chicken and dip it in the ponzu, right? Koyaru, right? You put it in like this. And nambyo gorai, chanto, chanto tsukeru yo. Really get it in there, right? Yeah, oh, and don't forget the mustard. The karas. Spicy mustard. Oh, yeah. It's kind of big one, yeah. Kind, kind of big. Okay, hold on a second. I gotta turn the camera around. Ponzu, ine. Well said. This is ponzu with oita's citrus fruit. Oita citrus fruit, kabosu, which gives it a little bit of a sourness, but it, it goes really well. Kabosu. Ah, gomenne. Let's try this. You, you already know it's going to be good, right? Here we go. The chicken's really good. Mm. Mustard is spicy too. Chotto <laughs> karai. I used a little bit too much of the mustard. Karashi, chotto dake. Oishi yo karashi. Yeah. Mm. It's it's good, you know, when you go in, in a place that has Japanese sake, you can kind of ask the chef or whoever's at at the um, bar for a recommendation based on the food that you've ordered. Um, nobody knows all of the sake brands in Japan. There are thousands of them, but the thing is, like, like the rice from this is all. This is a uh, oitashi kome, right? The, the, the rice from this one is all from oitashi, which comes from here. And it's kind of, personally, I like to make sure that the sake, a local sake with the local food. It just makes sense, right? The local ingredients goes with the local sake. Oita sake, oita tabemono. Only rice only. This rice only. Yeah. This one too, yeah. Rice only, yeah. And it's all. Uh, <laughs> Kiara san has a big smile. Egao <laughs> ine. Oishi. The commercial continues. But the. Uh, the. The shacho still hand brews it to him. That, that's kind of crazy. Like, if you were the president of a company that was making a lineup of five different sakes, would you be still hand brewing it? Probably. I think the reason why the sake must be good is because 
you know, people put in Japan successful brands and successful food. People put a lot of love into the product that they make, and it means a lot to them when they do that. So, like this sake is really darn good. I think you can get you can get that by meeting this the president who's hand making the sake. Sugoyo, shibarashi, jutto tsuzukeru desho. Tsuzukeru forever. <laughs> That's really cool. Um, before before we go, I want to take you a little bit around. This is kind of the vibe that you get. Usually, this is a Monday. All right, mind you guys, this is a Monday. Getsubi da kara. Getsubi da kara ne. あの、金曜日はどうでしょう。あの、すごい混んでるでしょう。あの、<笑><笑> Every two, every second Monday takes a holiday, right? But today is the is not one of those days. Thank goodness for us. Thank goodness for us. Yeah. Oh, ano Tachan no susume wa nan desu ka? Da mochiron ano tori ten desho? Tori ten. This is the recommendation. Tori ten. Tori ten. Ah. Ryukyu. Ryukyu wa saba. Uh, uh, kampachi. Mm. Kampachi. I know what kampachi is, but I'm not sure what that is in, in English. I, I had this in Aogashima. Yeah, kampachi is really good fish. Ah, oishii ne. Oden. Yes! The oden is so good here. We had this in, in complete disclosure. I had the oden already. Um, we, ate, we ate the oden before. I'm gonna show you guys the Oden here. Look at it. Now, like, mina san, 7-Eleven no Oden oishii yutte ta. Zenzen shigao yo. 7-Eleven no Oden wa kurabeare, kura, kurabeiru koto ga dekinai yo ne. Aki desu. Ah, moi kai. Ushi no aki desu. Ah, ushi no aki. This is the. Uh, uh, oh yeah, this is like the inner part of the the cow, ushi. Oita no ushi. Probably, probably. Yeah, and then you have the um, daikon and tofu, take, uh, konyaku, and kore wa. Hanpen. Ah, hanpen. Oh, hanpen oishi. Tamago. Tamago. This is so good. This is winter food. Hampen is so good. Guys, remember Hampen. Ah, ima nani tsukutte no? Ah, ginko. Ginko. Yeah, ginan. Like, I think they're like ginko seeds. Yeah. They're really good. Oh, man. This is like soul food. Oden. If you come to Japan in the winter, Oden. Just, that's it. And don't eat it at convenience stores. You go out to a place like this and, and get some proper Oden. Treat yourself. Oden no chumon shikata wa kore kore kore. If you want to order Oden, just go kore kore kore. If you want to say one, one is hitotsu, two is futatsu. One hitotsu to futatsu. Hitotsu futatsu. Mitsu. I just threw that in to confuse everybody. Kore hitotsu. Kore mit futatsu. Kore mitsu. Uh, there you go. You'll do okay in Japan. You'll do okay. All right. This is really good. I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna come back here. I'm gonna. I'm gonna just jump into the other place. I love the fact that. Um, あ、あ、いいですか。ちょっとじゃん、お邪魔します。お邪魔します。私。あ、ナイスとミッチュー。海外向けのユーチューバー。ええ。わあ。うう。わあ、ここもおでんがあるよね。有名、ここおでんよね
なんだろうソーセージ、えー、ごぼう巻きあごぼう巻きあごぼうね美味しいねいい匂いねでもこれジャーマンあそれハイボールじゃないノーノーノーウイスキーロックなんだけどあウイスキーロックスウイスキーロックがこれはあのジャパニーズジャパンやったあジャックダニエルがあジャックダニエルあジムあそれジョニーウォーカージョニーじゃジョニーじゃあ、いや、ウォーカーいらない。ジョニー・ジャック・ジム。<笑> First names only, please. First names only. Wow, あ、これ。あ、ah,、I'm John. あ、oh, nice to meet you, sir. うん。Wow. From Korea. あ、oh, really? Japan born Korean. あ、oh, okay. I'm American born Japan. No, no, no. Japan born Korean. Oh. One, two, three. Ah, third generation. Ah, third generation. Welcome. Ah, Zuto Oita ni Sundere? Osaka. Osaka. Ah. Oh, Mokaremaka. Sorry, that kissed her. Ah, what a terror. Ah, she was. Oh, Samui, eh? Samui. Samui. When you say a bad joke, you go Samui. Mokaremaka is a very. That's the、uh, Osaka language. I can't say anymore. <laughs> uh, welcome to Oita. Yeah, welcome to Oita. Yeah, Osaka Oita connection. Oita no tabemono oishi de shou. The food is very good in Oita. I think the reason that you come to Oita, one of the reasons is for food. There's a couple of things. I'm going to show you a little bit. Shoujin yori is more y o u m a y Shoujin yori. Shoujin yori is、um, like a Buddhist temple food. It's, a, it's mostly vegetarian. Yes, I like it. Oita is more y o u m a y What did you say? <laughs> This is very difficult、uh, cuisine, he's saying. Yeah, let's take a look here. Wow. 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 ヒストリーズ・インポーテント。ヘルシー。Wow. これも。Yeah, this is all the country food. And チュモンチカタは、なんかこれ、これ、これ、これ、これ、そうですね。<笑>これ。Are you guys getting it? Are you, are you picking it up? If you want to order something, これ、これ、これ、これ、一つ。ブール。This is the first time for me hearing this. So, in the masu, which is the box, the box, the box 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 that you have the sake in, in Kyushu, only in Kyushu, I'm hearing this for the first time, they put salt on it, just like tequila, and then they drink the sake. So, what is it called? But salty dog. Ah,、uh, salty dog. Yeah. yeah, not around the edges. Uh, on, the, on the hand, just like tequila. Like tequila. But no lime. ないみらないね。<笑> you don't need any lime. <笑>わあ、素晴らしい。外国人観光者いらっしゃいますか時々。時々来ます。あ、sometimes foreigners,、uh, foreign visitors will come in here. 日本語ペラペラでしょ違う少し。あ、uh,、they can speak a little bit of Japanese, 
まあ全然話せない外国人は大丈夫かな来年ワールドカップラグビーがあるいや、yeah. The World Cup Rugby is coming to Oita City here, so there's going to be a lot of foreigners here, anyways. Really? Rugby players here. Watch yourselves. <laughs> Welcome to Oita. You see that? Friendly place. Friendly. Oita is a friendly place, inviting to everybody. They invited me here. That's, that's saying a lot. It's saying a lot. ありがとう。すみません、ずっと邪魔で。<笑>ごめんなさい。<笑>ありがとう。ユーチューバー。Yes, that's what I do. I just go to places and destroy、um, what I find with bad jokes. That was pretty bad. I said モカレマカ、and he just went like this. <笑>寒い。<笑>寒い。あ、uh, oh, I lost my seat. I lost my seat. That happens sometimes. Oh, that's all right. All right, so I, we're going to end the live stream. I, I really wanted to show you this area in Oita City. It, it's kind of a historical area. I, the, thing, the reason why I wanted to show you this is because I don't know how much longer places like this will exist. There's just like after the great、um, Tohoku、um, earthquake in 2000, and,、uh, sorry, 2011, we should say, March 2011, a lot of the old buildings in Tokyo were just taken down because they were structurally unsafe. And you see, they have new apartment buildings or, or big apartment buildings, but this is just a shack made out of metal. And I kind of want to protect and preserve these. So if more people start coming to them and appreciating this, then I think more people, they're, they're not going to be going anywhere. And I think for, for a place like Oita, this is a big part of their history. This is a big part of their identity. And I, I don't want to see that go away. When you go, when you go out at nightlife, you're going to see lots of these little alleyways. Now, I'm not sure what these places are. Zanzibar, isn't that in, Tani,、um, in Africa? Tanzania? But there's lots of alleys that you can explore. And you, I think you can feel it out. If you have a bad vibe, don't go in there. Like Shinjuku is one thing, but Oita is fine. You know, Oita, I think you're going to be pretty good. The Rugby World Cup is coming here in 2019, and、um, they're getting ready for it. In fact, you see signs for the Rugby World Cup all over the city. They're super excited about this, and they're kind of the feeling around town is like because of the Rugby World Cup, this is one of the venues for it. They're going to have a lot of foreigners, and I really hope that、uh, people do come to Oita to do that. There's a lot of stuff to see here. Here's the street from a distance. I'm just going to pan around. It's right next to a park. There's Miyako Machi. You see that sign up in red up there? Miyako Machi Yatai. That's what I just showed you. And then there is Yachan. That's where we were. That's where we were drinking sake with the president who still makes sake by hand, which is crazy, but I don't know. Company's 150 years old, he's fourth generation, and he still wakes up every morning and he mixes and makes the sake. Incredible. That's what I love about traveling out of Japan. Are you stoked? Because I'm pretty stoked. All right, there you go. I hope you guys had a fun time.、Um, I hope you enjoyed the experience. I'll see you next time because I'm going to go back in there and reclaim my seat. I totally, I totally want to eat the rest of that oden. Bye, guys. <laughs>